Hello guys, my name is Vikram Thakkar. Today I am going to show you how to transpose a rows into column using Talent Open Studio. Couple of time I have seen people are asking the same question on a lot of forums where they are not clear how to transpose rows into columns. This scenario is quite often in computing world. So today I will demonstrate a, with a simple example by taking the input file wherein we I have three columns one is subject student name and student mark so I have uh, four rows for every student for four subjects so I've highlighted the text uh, first row is for maths science second row is for science and similarly English and computer and they and it also has marks corresponding to the subjects now what I want from this kind of input file is output like this wherein I have a single record for a single student and their corresponding score in columns in the corresponding columns so this is our requirement where we want to transpose our records to columns now guys let's start by creating a metadata for our input file in Talent Open Studio. So our um, input file contains three columns, students, student name and student marks. Let's start by creating a metadata. Go to metadata section, the repository pane. Click on file delimiter. Right click, create file delimiter. Give it any name. Let's say pivot. And let's put example. One. Click next. Browse the file. file you can see the file in file viewer click next provide the configuration setting our file has one header provide the header row refresh preview you see that our file is displayed here you can also set heading row as column name and change the header to one and refresh row you can see our data it is displayed correctly click next you can also change the length of all the columns let's give it 20 student name 50 student mark 3 click finish can see our metadata here now let's start by creating a job design create new job drag the metadata th that we have recently created to the job designer pane it will ask for the call uh, component that we want to use with that metadata select t5 input delimiter now our objective is to transpose rows first of all we have to uh, drop we have to sort the data based on the uh, student subject so we have what we, we have to take t sort row component into the job designer pane right click row main select connect to T sort row double click T sort row you can see that schema has already been propagated click OK add the sorting criteria click on student name and then its subject since both the columns are alphanumeric click as alpha ascending is fine now this will sort our data now now the main component that will actually do the pivoting is t pivot to columns delimiter right click t sort row main and select the component now we have to select the column which for which we have to do the pivot our column is subject the aggregation column is student marks and select the aggregation function as first 
now you have to group by by student name for every student we want a single record so click on plus and add student name now you have to provide the output file name provide the path this completes our setting for tp with two columns output delimiter now run this job now the job has been completed you can see now job job has been processed now open the file open now see we have a single record for student and the marks corresponding to the columns that has been created. We can also display this file in our studio. Let's do it as well. Drag T file input delimiter. Provide the path of the file that was just created using T pivot to column delimited component. row separator is fine, field separator is also fine it has one header give us one now schema now to produce this it has one two three four subjects and one student name we have to provide the schema two three four five key is student name click ok drag t logo component from the palette this component will, will be used to display the contents to run console click on table and the component property right click row name now what is our requirement is this file will be displayed once this sub job is completed so right click trigger on sub job ok ok now execute the job see we have our output as per our requirements we have three rows one for each student and the corresponding marks in a column form let's check with our input file Ashwin ready maths 67 science 55 English 88 and computers 92 so guys this is how we transpose rows into column if you have any comments if you are not clear about any section of the of the tutorial please let me know thank you